Hoofde. Hi everyone, I'm Andy Baragani. I am the author of my debut book, The Cook You Want to Be. Uh, this is a book that took two and a half years in the making, and I wanted to write a cookbook that really kind of encompassed all the lessons I've learned thus far as a cook. Uh, I'm first generation Iranian American. Uh, my parents are from Iran. I grew up in California and kind of worked my way up in restaurant kitchens. And today we're going to make one of my favorite recipes. It's a recipe uh, of a dish that I actually grew up eating, and it's called kufte. And there are many different variations of kufte. Kufte can vary in size. Sometimes they're stuffed with dried fruit or dried nuts. So I'm going to show you how to form those, and we're going to make a really simple tomato sauce to go on. First, we're going to start out with some fresh herbs. I'm using a mix of parsley and dill. I'm going to give these a fine chop. And these meatballs are very different than kind of typical Italian meatballs because the spices, while we're just using turmeric here, you can also sometimes add a little bit of cinnamon or cardamom. You only need one large egg. I'm going to add my rice. And this is about half a cup of cooked basmati rice. I'm going to add my turmeric. Salt, I, I go a little bit about like a one and a half teaspoon salt. I'm just going to eye it here. And a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to add two tablespoons. And then just whisk it together. And then I'm going to add my ground beef. And then just really fold in that rice. And what you're doing is not just mixing the meat with the rice mixture, you're also trying to break down the rice as well. So I'm just gonna pour my meatballs. And the thing with these meatballs, you don't brown them, which is so typical of a lot of meatball recipes, but you actually just form uh, the meatballs and then just drop them into the sauce raw. And I'm gonna prep some onions and garlic for the sauce and then we're gonna get cooking. I love whole peeled San Marzano tomatoes. I just want to have control of the texture. I also find them to be a little bit more fresh. And so I'm just going to use my hands and just crush up the tomatoes. And just this also kind of gives the tomatoes a head start so they don't have to cook for too, too, too long. Okay, so I am using just a medium white pot to make the sauce. It's on medium high heat. I'm going to add about a quarter cup of oil. Add my onions and garlic here. Adjust the heat if necessary. And we're just trying to get them really soft. It's probably gonna take about four to six minutes. And this is actually something, there's a term for this in, in Persian cooking called piaz dal, which means basically hot onions. And it's kind of the foundation for so many different Persian uh, dishes. And you really wanna cook the onions quite dark, so I'll show you guys. So now I'm going to add my tomato paste. And you can tell when it's ready to go, when the tomato paste kind of almost splits and becomes speckly. And I'm gonna add one teaspoon of red pepper flakes. You can adjust this, and we're just gonna cook this down for about two to three minutes. Now I'm gonna add our crushed tomatoes. I'm going to add two cups water to the pot. There's salt in our pifta, but we need to season our salt. Not too much, just a little bit. We could always adjust later on. Just kind of want to flavor the ingredients. And we're just going to simmer this until it's slightly thickened. It's nice and reduced and the flavors have melded. And this is probably going to take about, let's say, 15 minutes. Okay, so our sauce is reduced in a good place. We have our kufta into the sauce. It'll probably take around 25 to 30 minutes. I'm just going to occasionally kind of toss them around, spoon some sauce over. We're gonna cover with the lid, just slightly ajar, just so that sauce can continue to reduce and, and uh, become more concentrated. Okay, our meatballs are ready. I just set them aside. I'm going to just plate them up. And kofta is typically served with flatbread, some Persian pickles, which are called porshi. I'm gonna add a little bit of dill that I have over here. Oh my God, 